10 best places to visit in Paris by far. If you were planning a trip to Paris, France, you're in for an incredible adventure. Paris is one of the most romantic and culturally rich cities in the world. From the iconic Eiffel Tower to the captivating Louvre Museum, Paris is filled with incredible sights, sounds, and experiences. To help you make the most of your trip, here are 10 amazing places to visit in Paris that should not be missed. We're going to start to begin with at the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most iconic monuments and popular tourist attractions in Paris. Standing over 1,000 feet tall, this magnificent wrought iron lattice tower was designed by Gustave Eiffel and is the tallest structure in Paris. It was initially built as an entrance arch for the 1889 World's Fair and is now one of France's most recognizable symbols and a major tourist attraction and known for being a romantic destination. This iconic tower attracts millions of visitors every year who come to take in the stunning views it offers from its two observation decks. The first is on the second level, offers a spectacular panorama of the cityscape below, while the third level boasts an unrivaled view of Paris, stretching as far as around, I guess, a little over 15 miles away on a clear day. Visitors can explore the three levels of the tower and its many exhibits about its history, architecture, and engineering. On the ground level, a monument to Gustav Eiffel stands to honor the architect of this iconic tower. The Eiffel Tower also includes a variety of restaurants, kiosks, and souvenir shops. Whether you're looking for a romantic stop, or I should say a romantic spot, to watch the sunset or just want to take a view of one of the most famous monuments in the whole world, a trip to the Eiffel Tower is an essential part of any trip to Paris. And of course, you can see it from almost any vantage point in downtown Paris. Number two, the Louvre Museum. It is famous, famous museum in the heart of Paris. And did you know that it is the largest museum in the world? This historic landmark was home to kings of France in the 16th century, and it is located on the right bank of the Seine River. The Louvre has a combination of both classic and modern architecture. And as you may or may not know, it houses the famous Mona Lisa, one of the most incredible art pieces of art in anywhere in the world. This Rembrandt masterpiece, when I was there, it was hard to get up close because there were so many people looking at this incredibly historic Mona Lisa, the famous woman. It's a must-see for any visitor to the city. The Louvre is an incredible experience for lovers of art and history alike. Oh, here's one of my favorites, number three, the Notre Dame Cathedral. Located on the Ile de la Cité, Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the most iconic landmarks in Paris and arguably the most famous cathedral in the world. It has a long and storied history that dates back to its construction in 1163, making it one of the oldest Gothic cathedrals in France. The cathedral is known for its beautiful rose-stained glass windows, intricate carvings, and distinctive gargoyles. Notre Dame suffered significant damage in 2019 when a fire broke out in the roof and caused extensive destruction to the spire, roof, and some of the building's interior. After an outpouring of support from around the world, it was announced the restoration plans will be put into place to bring the cathedral back to its former glory. I was amazed that those rose windows, those beautiful stained glass windows, did not crack or get hurt with that fire, but they didn't, and what a blessing that was. Notre Dame is not only a place of worship, but also a historic monument and a treasure trove of art and artifacts. 
In addition to the stunning stained glass windows, visitors can admire incredible stone carvings and sculptures inside the cathedral. It is also a popular site for weddings and other events. Well, it's a very versatile cathedral, it seems. Overall, Notre Dame is a must-see destination for any traveler to Paris. With its rich history, impressive architecture, and beautiful art, it is no wonder why it is one of the most beloved places to visit in the city of Paris. Just a quick pause to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you're enjoying these videos, we sure would appreciate um, if you'd continue watching and you'd be notified when new ones come out. Thank you. Number four, the Arc de Triomphe. Located in the western end of the famous Champs-Élysées, one of Paris's main thoroughfares, the Arc de Triomphe stands as an iconic symbol of French national identity. Commissioned by Emperor Napoleon I in 1806, this grand monument is among the city's most recognizable landmarks and provides breathtaking views of the city. The arch is a massive structure of over 160 feet tall and bears inscriptions dedicated to Napoleon's victories, of course, as well as the names of generals who fought in his wars. At the top of the arch is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from World War I, commemorated for his bravery and ultimate sacrifice for his country. In front of the arch lies the Place Charles de Gaulle, which features 12 radiating avenues and eternal flame to commemorate fallen soldiers. Visitors can take an elevator to the top of the arch and explore its terrace, which offers absolutely spectacular views of Paris. Don't miss it. It's also possible to explore the interior, which houses several galleries filled with historic artifacts related to France's military history. The Arc de Triomphe is truly a sight to behold, as it stands as a reminder of the bravery and heroism of those who have fought for France throughout its history. Ah, the Palace of Versailles, number Versailles, I should say, number five. Oh, this palace is a stunning and majestic piece of French history. It was originally built as a country home for French kings and has since become one of the most famous palaces in the whole wide world. It is surrounded by formal gardens that have been beautifully maintained for centuries, providing visitors with a peaceful, tranquil environment in which to explore. There's even a ballroom if you wish to try a few of your dance steps out in the garden. Inside the palace, visitors are met with an impressive display of grandeur with an intricate design and luxurious decor that exemplifies the extravagance of French royalty. Oh boy, that's an understatement. There are many different rooms to explore within the palace, including the King's Chambers, Hall of Mirrors, oh gosh, is that ever magnificent, and various galleries and apartments. There is even a theater where guests can watch operas, ballets, and other performances. No matter the reason for visiting, the Palace of Versailles is sure to leave a lasting impression, from its spectacular architecture and design to its magnificent gardens and courtyards. It is truly a unique experience that celebrates the grandeur and opulence of French kings throughout. You'll see a lot of gold in this palace. We move on to the lighter side of Paris, number six, the Crazy Horse Saloon. This was such fun. It is one of the most iconic places to visit in Paris. The Crazy Horse Saloon. This Paris nightclub is renowned for its sophisticated cabaret scene and is considered to be one of the most popular spots for Paris entertainment. The venue is known for its high energy shows and talented dancers that take the audience on a mesmerizing journey. Crazy Horse Saloon has been captivating crowds since 1951 when it was founded by a local Frenchman. He believed that his club should offer an unparalleled, unparalleled experience that can only be found in Paris. And having seen a couple of shows here, 
that is a true statement. The stunning stage of the Crazy Horse Saloon offers an array of colorful lights and beautiful decorations that are sure to please any audience. The saloon's talented performance performers are well known for their spectacular acrobatics, which they use to create a most memorable show. From daring contortionists to aerialists, there's something for everyone at this legendary Paris venue. You can also enjoy some traditional French music during your evening, such as live jazz performances and burlesque acts. Uh, I like those. Whether, and so did my husband. Whether you're looking for a romantic night out or just want to have some fun, Crazy Horse Saloon is sure to provide you with a unique and unforgettable evening in Paris. If you're looking for a great way to experience the city's vibrant nightlife scene, be sure to check out this iconic venue. Oh, it is just the greatest. Oh, here's a beauty, number seven, Sacre Coeur. Situated high on a hill on Montmartre is the famous Catholic Church of Sacre Coeur. This iconic church overlooks the city of Paris and provides a stunning view of the city seascape. The breathtaking white marble exterior, as you can see in this picture, stands out among its surroundings, making it a popular destination for tourists. The interior of the church, church is just as impressive. The main altar and ceiling are adorned with intricate mosaics and sculptures. They are absolutely beautiful. The walls are lined with tall stained glass windows that depict beautifully delicate scenes from the Bible. There are also several chapels inside the church that are dedicated to different saints. The Sacre Coeur is a popular destination for visitors looking to experience the beauty and grandeur of Paris. With its incredible architecture and rich history, it is sure to leave a lasting impression on anyone who visits. Next, we have number eight, the Pantheon. This is located in the Latin Quarter of Paris. It is a popular tourist attraction and an exquisite church built by Louis XV. The Pantheon stands out as one of the greatest monuments in Paris due to its impressive neoclassical architecture and its iconic dome-shaped roof. Inside the Pantheon are, some of the, are buried some of the most famous and renowned people of France, including Victor Hugo, Victor Hugo and Marie Claire. Excuse me, Marie Curie. Visitors to the Parthenon will be captivated, captivated by its many, many gorgeous, I mean, and I mean gorgeous works of art, religious statues and ornate decorations. The Pantheon is one of the most visited attractions in the city. I love this picture with all the French flags on the front. Ah, number nine, the Café de Flore. Café de Flore, located in the heart of Paris, is one of the oldest coffee shops in France and opened its stores in 1880. It has long been a favorite haunt of high-profile poets and writers, with the walls adorned with classic paintings, antique books, and photos. The iconic café is known for its excellent French pastries, yum, 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 including croissants and eclairs, as well as its wide selection of sandwiches, salads, and other light meals. They also serve espresso, cappuccino, and hot chocolate drinks. They also are known to offer a variety of vegan and vegetarian options. At Café de, de Flor, hey, you can relax in the classic and cozy atmosphere that is maintained since the café's opening one century ago. Here, Take your time enjoying a cup of coffee and admire the beautiful interiors while imagining the conversations that took place here with all the, those famous poets and writers. Whether you're looking for a place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city or just need a moment to relax and reflex, Café de Flore is the perfect spot for you. Great, great place. Loved it. Number 10, we all, love, we all love talking about love, and Paris is known for being such a romantic city, so why wouldn't it have this attraction? It's number 10 on our list, the Wall of Love. 
If you are looking for a unique tourist attraction in Paris, you have to check out the Wall of Love in Montmartre. It's a popular destination for picture taking as it covers, as it's covered in over 612 tiles, inscribed with love messages in over 250 languages. The wall was created by a French artist and was inaugurated in 2000. The wall itself is located in a very popular neighborhood, as mentioned before, Montmartre, and is easy to find. Just look for the colorful tiles. The wall stretches about 12 feet wide and 7 feet tall and is set, to, set up on a sloping hillside. There are tons of tile inscriptions from Je t'aime, I love you, to toujours, always, toujours, I think that's pronounced, always. Visitors to the Wall of Love can take pictures, explore the area, and enjoy the peace and beauty of the wall. It's a perfect destination for couples looking for a romantic spot or perhaps tourists hoping to get a unique shot of an unusual wall in the city of Paris. People leave love letters and notes at the wall, adding to its unique charm. Whether you are looking for a romantic spot or simply exploring the city, the wall of love is a must-see in Paris. Ah, I just think it is such a unique and wonderful, wonderful place making just one more special destination in Paris. So you have seen the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame and many other wonderful places here in Paris. But I hope that you will have a chance in your lifetime to visit this amazing city and see some of these incredible destinations outlined in this post today. And remember this, the only trip you'll regret is the one you don't take.